The future of medicine isn't in refining dosages or improving treatment techniques. It isn't in safe bets. The future is in bringing leading minds together, giving them the freedom to surprise us, to lead us into realms of new possibility, prompting questions we never would have thought of asking. Autoimmunity is your immune system turning on your own body. In, in rheumatoid arthritis, that is the joint. In terms of rebalancing the immune system, one possible means of doing that is to identify and selectively delete the cells that have lost the ability to distinguish a true threat from healthy tissue. A person is diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis and we're able to match them to just the right drug and minimize or perhaps completely halt joint damage and take pain out of their day-to-day -day life. We discovered an important connection between lupus and malaria. We saw the exact same cells that are working in the exact same way, driving anemia in malaria, the same way we saw it in lupus. Diseases that we really think are highly unrelated could really be caused by the exact same cause. And this is important because then we can help develop therapies based on these findings that might not only work in one autoimmune disease, but might work in many autoimmune diseases. Our scientific understanding of the disease is really, really moving quickly. The biggest new thing is this new trial in the last year that studied a drug that targets the T cells in people who are likely to get type 1 diabetes. And for the first time ever, we've shown that just two weeks of a drug can delay people's type 1 diabetes by an average of about two years going from an ability to predict who is going to get diabetes to this year, the first trial that actually was able to delay diabetes onset. And that's the culmination of, of a lot of people's life's work. We identify a type of cells named the TH2A cells, which are present in people with allergy and almost entirely absent in people that do not have allergy. For many years, it was very hard for the scientists to make the difference between the good cells and these bad cells. Now, with our discovery, we can really carefully look at these cells and how we can stop the activity of these cells. I have the hope that one day, allergy vaccine will be a therapy to cure allergy. Not only one allergy, but all of them. You will be able to eat whatever you want without being worried to go to the emergency room. When I was a really small child, uh, my sister was diagnosed with systemic lupus. And immediately, this question started entering my mind about why is it that my immune system is not attacking my body's tissues and hers is. I wanted to be the catcher for the New York Yankees. But when Anita was diagnosed, my whole trajectory was altered. I knew that I had to do something to help people like her. I wanted to become a doctor. She's getting ready to have her second kidney transplant um, in the last two years. The, the goal is to try to understand what is bridging that gap between her and me and to use that information to help those individuals who have autoimmune disease. I would love if I didn't have to take insulin because it would allow me more time to hang out with my friends and I could eat whatever I want whenever I want. Since figuring out that I have had autoimmune diseases, it's just like uh, it's overwhelming sometimes the amount of planning and preparation and daily struggles and pain that I've been through. The work that Benaroy Research Institute is doing to unlock answers behind these autoimmune diseases gives me a lot of hope that there will be better treatment options and better therapies to deal with autoimmune diseases. So I'm living with five autoimmune diseases, type 1 diabetes, Raynaud's phenomenon, alopecia areata, ankylosing spondylitis, and celiac disease. Being diagnosed with a health issue is a lonely space to be. You only really have yourself when it comes to being in, in your body that is suddenly revolting on you. When you find a place that is trying to work to cure you, it's everything, it means everything. I 
can't explain how much it means to you. To me. 